Today we're on the hunt for something very unique, a rare species known in the food world as black gold. It's a precious ingredient that's featured in some of the world's greatest culinary inventions, and its whereabouts is usually kept under lock and key. That is, until now. I'm spending the day at the Folly Truffles, in the heart of Queensland's Granite Belt, about three hours drive southwest of Brisbane. Second generation farmers Ben and Maple Edgerton run small group truffle tours on their sheep and cattle farm. Now Maple, the Folly Truffles is Queensland's first commercial truffle farm and it's apparently a bit of a, a bit of a secret business. So what made you want to open your doors to the public? Well, there's over 300 truffle producers uh, across Australia wide and people are interested in truffles. Today we're on the hunt for French Perigord truffles hidden deep within the roots of the oak trees. And to uncover these delights, we need the nose that knows, and that belongs to farm dog Barry. Where exactly are they? Well, they're sure. grown under the ground, um, and that's the essence of what we do. It's essentially blind farming. Blind so farming, I we, like that. We just have to have a little bit of hope, as well as kind of adhering to the most current up-to-date research on truffle growing. The Granite Belt peaks at 1,200 metres above sea level, making it one of Queensland's highest regions. With its cool winter nights and warm summer days, this area is ideal for growing truffles. So it looks like Barry's found something. What are we going to do now that he's sniffed out something? Well, we basically have to get down on the ground and sniff the dirt yeah. and uncover a truffle. Here it is, here. Ah! So that's a truffle? Yes. So now we have to sniff the truffle to determine whether or not it's ripe and whether or not we're going to uh, uproot it. And it smells pretty good to me, but the last, the last thing that we need to do is we need to make a small incision on there just to check that the colour is nice and ripe. And look at that beautiful colour. That's beautiful and dark, that beautiful dark marbling. Yep. So I'll see you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> On average, truffles fetch between $1,500 and $2,000 a kilo. Lucky for us, a tasting session is included in the tour. So I'm going to grate this truffle into some butter. Uh, truffle butter is really versatile because you can eat it raw on fresh bread or you can also cook with it. So it'll go great over the top of a pasta or you can put it in a mashed potato just to give your dish that you're cooking a little bit of extra truffle flavour. You can really smell that, that truffle aroma. Listen to me sounding like a connoisseur. Maple's tours are all about accessibility, taking the mystery out of truffles and how to best use them in everyday cooking. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a very simple truffle cheese. So I'm going to grate this in here and leave it in the fridge for two to three days. And that truffle flavour will infuse right through the cheese and you'll have a beautiful, fresh truffle cheese. So we've got the truffle butter? Yep. Truffle cheese? Yep. Ready to make a sanger. Who's hungry? Me. Starving. <laughs> <laughs> If you fancy staying a night on the farm, Maple and Ben are more than happy to share. Ironbark Hut is a rustic timber cottage stacked with all the essentials. Great for a family or group of friends looking for a night off the grid. The Granite Belt region is full of surprises and Maple has suggested a pit stop to one of the area's premium wineries, Ballandine Estate, to taste their legendary mushroom and truffle soup. One of the many bonuses about regional areas such as this is that you get to experience the true meaning of paddock to plate. So from the farm we were just at to the winery I'm in right now, almost every ingredient is grown, sourced and distributed locally so that as a community, everyone can grow and thrive together. And as a tourist, I get to leave with a full belly and a big smile on my face. Cheers. Seriously, dude, how?